STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, when taught in a certain way, it really builds on problem solving. And when they're doing these activities hands-on, it really has an impact on their learning. And it carries forward into the future because they're making those connections between and across the curriculum. The new STEM room, Eric Anderson has a pre-engineering class in there, and the fact that we are using collaborative learning with a dirty lab and students' computer-aided design working in groups, it is a, a phenomenal experience for our students. They get the opportunity to work not only with the teacher, but fellow students. They design a product, and then they put that product to use right there in the classroom. So at the elementary level, students are getting science and engineering and math and tying that together. There's also technology standards. So we, we start at the elementary level with kids in all of those areas. And they learn to um, work together to solve those problems across the curriculum. Then when you see it really get um, specific, is more at our middle level, we have STEM rooms and we have you walk into those classrooms and you see kids working together. So they're learning, they're learning to work in a team and work collaboratively. They're learning to communicate. You'll see them solving a robotics problem and using technology and planning their technology online and then taking that design and actually building it with the robotics tools. And it's pretty exciting to see them working together. Then you get to the high school and we have in our whole STEM wing, we have anything from graphic design to um, natural resources to automotive to welding to electronics to construction, but we have a new program up there called Process Operations. So instead of a student just going through the high school, their high school journey where they're just taking classes that are recommended based on the grad requirements, they're actually telling themselves and talking to their parents and their teachers and saying, I want to go into this field. So here's a set of classes that they can take with a set of actual specific skills that are going to help them towards that career. So that even if they're in ninth or 10th grade, they can decide, well, I want to go into healthcare or I want to be a process operator and work in the mines. Well, then here's a list of classes you can take and here are the skills you can expect to gain by the time you're done with the classes. And the last part is creating centers of technical excellence at all the schools. So at Grand Rapids, we would be doing the process operations program so that industries who use technology like the process operations can come in and use our facilities for training purposes. Those things excite me about providing STEM opportunities for students because it takes them into the workforce, it takes them into their world, um, into their personal lives. They take it and they apply it at home and they apply it in their jobs.